Jose, to bring things full circle, you made a name for yourself here by serving your customers a taste of Spain by introducing them to small plates. Later, you branched out to Greek, Turkish, and Lebanese recipes at Zaytenya, but your new venture, the America Eats Tavern, will connect diners to a quintessentially American kind of menu. What are you trying to do here? Where did your vision for this project come from? Um, I, I, I will explain the history of the world through the history of the foods that humanity eats. I'm so um, glad you think small. Go ahead. <laughs> unfortunately, we always we always explain history through the wars, uh, through the things that separate us. And I love to tell the stories about the things that unite us. And food is the, the perfect thing. So America eats. Uh, I don't open restaurants to make money, quite frankly. Uh, I, I'm doing okay, but I open restaurants to tell stories, Koyo. You have a mic every morning and you tell your stories. Yep. I have a kitchen and a plate and a chair where people come in and want to establish this conversation with me. So to me, to do American eats, it's almost my trying to have a little contribution about opening a door, about asking ourselves exactly what America is related to food. And that's the dream of America eats. I'm going to only try to uh, plant a seed where everyone is going to take every food they eat, uh, not lightly anymore, but almost asking themselves, where are you coming from? Why, why are you uh, the ketchup I'm eating today? Where this ketchup came from? Why are we eating uh, mac and cheese? Why are we eating, eating for breakfast eggs Benedict? Because I do believe having answers to those questions only give us uh, a sense of belonging. America Eats will be a pop-up restaurant that will take over the space currently occupied by Cafe Atlantico, right? Yes, a pop-up restaurant uh, is going to be open only six months in partnership with uh, an amazing institution that I've been 20 years walking around, the National Archives, mm -hmm. which is funny because they made me the senior culinary, chief culinary, advisor. chief culinary advisor to the exhibit What's Cooking Uncle Sam of the National Archives. That's the idea how I decided to do so quickly, America Eats. The National Archives is doing exhibition about the influence of the government or our politicians and presidents in the way America Eats. Sometimes good, sometimes not so good. But what is uh, amazing is that in a year that we are already discussing the next farm bill, that is going to be so important in making sure no kid is hungry in America and overseas, making sure no one is obese in America, making sure that we are able to use food to create employment. F the farm bill is going to be so important. So imagine the day I found out that the National Archives are doing an exhibition that is opening, uh, opening a door and asking questions and showing history over the last two, two, three centuries about how the government influenced the way we are today when we talk about food. I thought that that was the moment to at the same time partner with the National Archives and opening this restaurant where we're going to be showing the history of America through cooking and also tell America about we need to care. We need to care when we vote. We need to care about what's the food policy of our presidents and our senators and congressmen. Because it depends their policies, we're going to be a better society. So from now on, I hope every president, every congressman, every senator will have a food policy next to them because they're going to have to start answering the right questions to, to, to the right answers to all the amazing questions we had ahead of us about how to feed America 